Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on the Trans Am. 118th scale. This one probably isn't as bad as the other two. Most of its damage is on the rear end here, up on top of the trunk lid, and on this back tail panel. So you can see that back's getting kind of nasty. It's getting pretty crusty there, and then on the sides here as well, this whole side. <laughs> Have a look in there. Ew, the pupes are intense. Oh, it's so nasty. This thing really needs a good wash. It's been uh, in a box for about 20 years, I believe John said. So, it's like there's a leaf in there. Hopefully there's no spiders. To have a look under the hood, if we can. I don't know, there might be something wrong with the hood latches on this. So I'm not going to force it. I don't want to wreck anything. The only thing this car is missing is the back bumper. Which John said he threw in the mail. So I'm hoping it will be here in a couple days. When we go do the final assembly. Everything looks all pretty clean under there. So that's good news. A little bit of rust on the screws. But it should come together okay. Well let's get started on this one. See how far we get today. More than likely looking at a two-part video again, as usual. It's just too much stuff to take care of all in one video. Get this apart. What year is this thing? Seems like a little bit newer. Licensed by GM, made by Ertl, E-R-T-L. Never heard of them. Steering shaft. Ew. Well, that is just pretty nasty, I'm gonna say. Put these screws in the back of the one ton here. Cool. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. Get going on this body first. This tank I'm gonna deal with later. Classic Trans Am. Pimp. It's my favorite body style of Trans Am. Right up there with split bumper Camaros. I love them both. Let's continue here. Yeah, so whatever, whatever was going on in here was stopping our hood from functioning. Could have just been all this corrosion. See if we can not yank this dash. A lot of people really want me to do some sort of bandit tribute to this. And I mean a lot of people. Probably like a hundred comments. And I hate to disappoint you all, but I, I just can't do a bandit car. I think this is just too far off a bandit front end. Like, I'm sorry, that is just not going to be happening. I respect the bandit Trans Ams too much. To do that to this. I'm not going to even pretend that they're anywhere close to each other. Let's check this out. Cool. It does have little gauges in there. I like how they finished that dash. That kind of hot rod swirled aluminum. Really cool. Too bad that gauge decal is off. A couple millimeters. Bloop, 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 bloop. I think it's crazy that John even found the bumper for this thing. Some little bumper just hanging out in the bottom of a box for 20 years. Got lucky this thing's gonna get a new life. That's supposed to come off. Very nice. Get a little Pontiac in that one. I like it. I like it. Little lenses. I love it. Those are really nice. Love all the little details on these. 118s. Way cooler. So much more room for activities. Put 
Beautiful. That should clean up real nice, hopefully. All right, we are down to the body. I find that uh, working on John's cars here, if I go and try to scrub off all the sticky stuff now, it makes it better for later. I think we may have determined last video that this is cat pee. Oh, and my glove is compromised. Uh. Anyways, this stuff leaked into everywhere. So I'm going to go give this a good scrub with some soap and water. See how clean I can get it. And we'll move on to paint stripping. She ain't looking much better, boys. A bunch of paint started coming off. Still, still pretty crusty, but that's okay. That's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna clean up well. Start with the inside this time. Let's be smart. Let's be smart about things here. I had another follower on Instagram send in a 1/18th scale Jeep. You know who you are. I'll give you a shout out a little bit later. So we got a Jeep, but it's not complete. It's missing some parts. Wheels is the big one. Um, just having wheels that are going to fit on there. That's not something that's easy to get. So i to figure out something there. I'm not against buying another 1/18th scale truck or something, taking the wheels off it, getting the Jeep on the road and just keep kind of flipping projects like that and kind of having like always have one that's at like junker status. I'm totally good with that. I think it's a lot cooler to get an old project up and running again than just have something brand new right out of the package. Let's get that roof shot everybody loves so much. Oh yeah, it's like making brains. This is real time, by the way. You can hear it. So satisfying. You guys like them close-ups. Peel off some of this. That's takes me about three times to strip these big cars just because, uh, I don't know, there's so much surface area to cover. So it definitely takes a while. Yeah, I'm going to go give this a rinse and a scrub. We'll see where I end up. I'll probably have to do it two more times or so, but uh, we'll be back with a nice clean Trans Am in a second. All right, so now we can really see the damage and these pits are actually pretty bad. Still crusty as ever. Up here's pretty bad too. So to battle all those pits, we're gonna go straight for our 80 grit flapper wheel. Let's see what happens down here on this stuff.
I think we should just hit it with some scotch bright and see how it's gonna look. And forget sandpaper. Scotch bright's where it's at. I love Scotch bright. You know, that'll be the next step. I need a little mini palm sander here so I can just... The splapper wheels kind of cut in a little bit too much. They're good for removing real bad stuff, but they do leave a little bit of a texture. It's because the edge is sharp, so it kind of scores up your body a little bit. So as handy as they are, you got to go back and do cleanup after, so... I don't know, worth it, like for me to sand off all those little pimples, that would have taken forever. Mm -hmm. So we got this god awful, what I would guess is a license plate holder. We don't have anything that attaches in there, so I think I'm gonna shave it off. I'm gonna find out what it's for and remove it if it's not an essential part, because it looks like hell. So I've got that nice and cleaned out now. We're gonna just go ahead and JB weld this area. Just because that's gonna hold on a little bit better than just filling that with putty. Things gotta look legit, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a little bit extra just to make sure. More is better. And we're going to let that dry and we'll get our front end back. It's going to look real good. So our JB Quick Weld is hardened up and I'm ready to remove that ugly little license plate holder. I don't have the plastic piece that went in there anyways so we're just going to remove it so there isn't this like gaping hole in the front with these uh, two ugly little plastic receivers. It's probably going to be easier to use a power tool at this point to get it close quicker so maybe I'll switch to the flapper really starting to enjoy using these little flapper wheels you don't see too many people use them they really speed things along 80 grit might be a little bit too aggressive so next time I go shopping I might look for some 120s or something going forward but I love these things Probably as far as I'm comfortable going at this point. It's going to look so much better than having that indent for that license plate. I probably need a little bit of putty on there. I mean, it's not bad. So our JB did a good job of filling that. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of Tamiya putty. I'm going to just lightly skim all this pitting. If some of these little holes get filled in, so be it. But I don't think they're going to be that big of an issue. Anywhere there's little pinholes, I'm just going to put a little bit. I think we're good, actually. I think I'm feeling that. Stuff isn't really recommended for metal, but it dries so fast and it does the job. So, you know, why not? I got another product I've been meaning to try out. It's called... Plastic metal made by Bondo. But um haven't found the right project to try it out on yet. This just needs such a thin little skiff, it's just not even worth doing it on this project. So this real thin spread dries super quick. I'm not gonna touch the front yet, but I think we can go ahead and sand the sides here.
So I'm going to take most of it off and just leave whatever filled the little pits. It's so thin you're not going to see it in the paint at all, so we're good there. That's going to look so much better. I like it. I like it a lot. So I got to throw our mirrors back on here before we paint. And to protect the little mirrored finish, or what's left of it, I'm going to be using a liquid mask. This is basically like a liquid silicone. And we'll be able to peel it off after we do all our painting. Gonna just put a nice little coat on here. It's a pretty cool product. There. So that's gonna dry. And that's gonna dry. That way our mirrors get painted at the same time as the car. And they'll be sealed on there nicely. So I'm going to use a little bit of gray Steinal Res as my primer today. So I'm going to mix up some white and the reason we're using white is because I'll be making my own decals. I realize there's a lot of cooler cars out there, the black Trans Ams with the gold bird. Printing that gold bird at home just isn't happening, but we can do a really nice blue one. So that is what we're doing. With Createx paints we've got to add some balancing clear, a little bit, and of course we're going to reduce a little bit. So I think we're going to end part one there. What I'm going to do is clear coat this and I'm going to work on some decals for the next video. That way when I come back the clear coat's nice and dry. I'll probably sand it a little bit. Do our decal package completely. Clear coat again and then polish this up into just a really gorgeous Trans Am. So until the next video guys, I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next one buds. See you later.